Judy with Living Small News here. Do you know why it feels there are two different governments within the United States at war with each other? Because it's true. We have the Dems shadow government, also known as the Deep State, at war with our founding fathers' republic set up under freedom and liberty bound by the Constitution of the United States. As a country, we have borders, and that's why the immigration law is so important. But the deep state, um, they, and I do believe that's why they got rid of JFK, uh, because he was not on board, and he couldn't be bought, like Trump. But they are wanting a new world order. We've heard Bush say it. We saw Obama pretty much implemented, and Hillary would have just sealed the deal. But they've had, they took over everything once Kennedy, they got him out of the way. They started the process of taking over and making a machine, just as Kennedy had warned us was going to happen. He, he was his, it was his last speech, the one that got him killed about secret societies. He was talking to the press. And just as, you know, he was trying to, as Trump has tried to, uh, he, Trump's done it in a different way, of course, following, calling them fake news. But JFK actually believed that they would do the right thing. But the military requested Trump to run for office because our country's freedoms and liberties are being stripped with the shredding of our Constitution which protects individual rights. Mainstream news me networks are part of the deep state. And we, we heard President Trump and others, I mean, not President Trump, but President Obama, we heard them and others on the left talk about the Constitution is old, should be done away with, should be revised. I'm telling you, if Hillary won, that's exactly what they were going to do. They were going to do away with that, our sovereignty, take us into the new world order and strip away all of our freedoms, all of our rights. You heard it in a lot of their speeches. Go back, listen to their speech very, very carefully. Listen to their words they chose carefully. Obama said in one of his speeches that, you know, we had to sacrifice freedom and give up things in order to have other things, you know. I, it's it's amazing. Um but go back. Just don't take my word for it. And if I can find a, a clip of it so I can quote him exactly. But I was I was so shocked. But some people believe that JFK was talking about the Soviets. However, the Soviets did not control our media, which was the focus of his speech to a group of newspaper editors. The Soviets were known to the public. They were not a secret society. And didn't we just hear about that the other day, Drake? Uh, Trey Gowdy had talked about in one of the emails of the FBI talking about a secret society. There's no question he was talking about the globalist of his day. Globalist. The one world order. They got rid of they got rid of uh, President Kennedy because he was in he loved America. He believed in our Constitution and the freedoms that we enjoy, and just like Trump. Anyway, I said all this, and um, I've got something else to share with you. So, stay tuned and let's enjoy this video. Our movement is about replacing a failed and corrupt political establishment with a new government controlled by you, the American people. The Washington establishment and the financial and media corporations that fund it exist for only one reason, to protect and enrich itself. The establishment has trillions of dollars at stake in this election. For those who control the levers of power in Washington and for the global special interest, they partner with these people that don't have your good in mind. Our campaign represents a true existential 
threat like they haven't seen before. This is not simply another four-year election. This is a crossroads in the history of our civilization that will determine whether or not we, the people, reclaim control over our government. The political establishment that is trying to stop us is the same group responsible for our disastrous trade deals, massive illegal immigration, and economic and foreign policies that have bled our country dry. The political establishment has brought about the destruction of our factories and our jobs as they flee to Mexico, China, and other countries all around the world. It's a global power structure that is responsible for the economic decisions that have robbed our working class, stripped our country of its wealth, and put that money into the pockets of a handful of large corporations and political entities. This is a struggle for the survival of our nation. And this will be our last chance to save it. This election will determine whether we're a free nation or whether we have only the illusion of democracy, but are in fact controlled by a small handful of global special interests rigging the system, and our system is rigged. This is reality. You know it, they know it, I know it, and pretty much the whole world knows it. The Clinton machine is at the center of this power structure. We've seen this firsthand in the WikiLeaks documents in which Hillary Clinton meets in secret with international banks to plot the destruction of U.S. sovereignty in order to enrich these global financial powers, her special interest friends, and her donors. Honestly, she should be locked up. The most powerful weapon deployed by the Clintons is the corporate media, the press. Let's be clear on one thing. The corporate media in our country is no longer involved in journalism. They're a political, special interest, no different than any lobbyist or other financial entity with a total political agenda. And the agenda is not for you, it's for themselves. Anyone who challenges their control is deemed a sexist, a racist, a xenophobe. They will lie, lie, lie. And then again, they will do worse than that. They will do whatever is necessary. The Clintons are criminals, remember that. This is well documented. And the establishment that protects them has engaged in a massive cover-up of widespread criminal activity at the State Department and the Clinton Foundation in order to keep the Clintons in power. They knew they would throw every lie they could at me and my family and my loved ones. They knew they would stop at nothing to try to stop me. Nevertheless, I take all of these slings and arrows gladly for you. I take them for our movement so that we can have our country back. I knew this day would arrive. It's only a question of when. And I knew the American people would rise above it and vote for the future they deserve. The only thing that can stop this corrupt machine is you. The only force strong enough to save our country is us. The only people brave enough to vote out this corrupt establishment is you, the American people. Our great civilization has come upon a moment of reckoning. I didn't need to do this, folks, believe me. I built a great company and I had a wonderful life. I could have enjoyed the fruits and benefits of years of successful business deals and businesses for myself and my family instead of going through this absolute horror show of lies, deceptions, malicious attacks. Who would have thought? I'm doing it because this country has given me so much and I feel so strongly that it's my turn to give back to the country that I love. I'm doing this for the people and for the movement and we will take back this country for you and we will make America great again.